Hello everybody, welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. We are going to be reviewing this product. So this is their Rim Cleaner Color Tech. I can't pronounce that in German. So I'm in the process of changing my brakes and rotating my tires on my Avalon. And since I have them off, I want to do a nice deep cleaning on them. So let's check out what we're dealing with. So around the wheel itself, not horrible, but here is pretty gross. So I am going to degrease and clean everything inside of each of our wheels. So of course I'm rotating the tires on the left side, so front to back, back to front. And uh, I'm going to start with the front one first and review that product. So I'm going to be applying it dry. This bottle is almost out. I'm just using the rest of the product in here and then I'll probably dump it into the new bottle. So old bottle, new bottle. And let's see how it reacts. So it's turning it's turning purple and you can see it's starting to dissolve away. I'm not expecting these to come out completely clean so we'll see but you can tell you can see that it's it's starting to clean it. It's starting to dissolve any of the iron brake particles and like all the other products it, it smells gross but it's not I don't know I don't think it's that bad actually it's not like some of the other products. You can definitely smell that, whatever that chemical is for dissolving the iron particles. But it doesn't seem super, super bad. So, oh wow, check that out. I was not expecting it to dissolve that. Okay. So, I have a hot, uh, I have a bucket here full of hot water. So, I'll throw in my brush, my little, uh, a little homemade mitt and let's brush all of this down. It is doing a really good job of breaking down all of those particles. I'm actually, uh, I'm very impressed. I've used this product for a while now and I think it does a really good job. So I'll brighten it up here and adjust it so that you can see what it's doing. And if you're wondering, I just have some car soap in the bucket. So it creates some foam. And I mainly do that because I found that having foam helps with kickback on the brush. Like especially if you're using one of those wheel brushes and the brushes, the you know, the little brushes on it will actually flick back a ton of dirt. Having foam like this helps reduce that. Doesn't completely take it away, but it helps reduce it. All right, so let's take my little homemade mitt and give it a nice thorough scrub with it.
All right, let's give it a rinse down. Okay, so obviously there is some really heavy stuff on there. I was not expecting everything to come out perfectly. There's obviously some really stuck on brake dust and grime and other stuff in there. Did a good job of breaking up the majority of it. But of course some of this stuff is probably going to be baked on there. I have no idea how the car was maintained. So, before I got it, that is. Let's try a few other things. See if we can get this cleaned up a little bit better. So, as an iron remover, this is really good. It works great. It does clean and dissolve iron particles really well. So we're gonna try some of 3D's Speedy Bright. So this is an acid-based cleaner. This stuff is really strong. Let that dwell for a sec before we start agitating it. So that obviously, uh, that did a little bit better. You know, of course, the acid base cleaner is a little bit more aggressive. These areas in here, I believe, are baked on. I don't think they're going to come out completely. Maybe with a little bit more chemical agitation, we'll see. Let's spray a little bit more on. It is uh, turning purple again, so it's it's definitely dissolving some more. It may eat away a little bit more. Yeah, it's dissolving more of it. Sometimes it just needs a little bit more agitation. Comes off in layers. Yeah, it's it's definitely doing its job. Just might take a couple of applications, but it's doing a really good job. I was not expecting a lot of this to come out. Yeah, but look at that, it's eating it away. That's great. So we'll keep doing this and see if we can get it completely clean. It's still eating it away. It's dissolving it layer by layer.
So let's see if there's any tar. We're going to use we're going to use Gion tar and clean up some of the other Clark tar bits. I love Gion tar. You can see it working immediately, dissolving a ton of tar bits on here. So what you think is brake dust may not actually be brake dust. And unlike the iron remover, this stuff smells really nice. So I'm going to take a plastic razor blade, scrape off this old wheel weight glue. So that kind of shaved right off. I love these plastic razor blades. They really help with difficult jobs like this. All right guys, so that is that's it for this wheel. I'm not going to try to get everything out of here because this is just my own personal wheel and I'm not that concerned about it. I don't think it's really going to come out anyway unless I was maybe to take some compound to it, but I'm not going to worry about it. But overall, did a great job of cleaning a ton of the iron particles. I know there's some other stuff in here. I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about that. Here's some other little stuck bits. The Gion tar took off the majority of it. But this product is a great iron remover. So I use it. I'll have links down below. It's cheap. And, uh, you know, they all smell bad, but this one does not smell as bad as some of the other ones I've tried. And pick up some Gion tar also. Awesome for cleaning wheels. You can use it safely on paint as well, so that's not a problem. You can use it on your vehicle's paint, both products, and they clean really well. They will decon your wheels and your paint. It's good to do before any paint corrections. I don't always use iron removers, not all the time, because sometimes you just don't need to. I don't always use tar removers, because sometimes you just don't need to. If you clay the paint and everything feels smooth and good, you don't see any specks anywhere, you don't see anything in the paint, you don't need to use these products all the time. If you're a mobile detailer and you are making sure to watch what products you're using so that you're not wasting product, then that's what you have to do. Assess each vehicle, that way you're not wasting product and using it unnecessarily. But these two products are uh, very good to have in your detailing arsenal. So definitely check both of them out. All right, guys, that is it. You can tell it's cold <laughs> and it's rainy. So I'm going to continue working on my vehicle here because I have to uh, rotate the tires on it. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell, that way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in tools and products that we use, then click up here. That goes to our dedicated page where you can buy products and tools that we use in our professional detailing business and you can purchase those products easily. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.